Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here. The human centipede. Is it as gross as you remember? Let's find out on this episode of Hack the Movies. Oh my God, Lauren Soda, hello, how are you? Properly you? introduce yourself. Introduce yourself right now. My name is Lauren Soda. Who are you? No one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally no one. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Well, a little bit of backstory. You are my best friend's cousin. I was. Still am. Still am. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, did he die? I'm like, I didn't know. Oh my god. I'm like, I gotta make some phone calls. What the fuck? <laughs> You're my best friend's cousin. Uh yes, and if you've been watching my Instagram or Twitter and seeing me do karaoke over the last year, you might have noticed Lauren popping into a video here and there. I'm a big fan of Tony singing, for sure. I am I'm the one someone, on the floor. I'm glad someone is there. Yeah. You know what I think I'm gonna do next time? What? So me and my friends who do karaoke, we can't stand when broads do the Carrie Underwood cheating song. Yeah, it's annoying as shit. And everyone, there's always one girl who does it. I think next time I'm just going to do it like right away. Absolutely. And yeah. you have to wear a cowboy boots <laughs> and a cowboy hat. Just just because there's one girl that's like, I'm going to sing karaoke. And then like my dumb ass gets up there and they're like, <laughs> well, now I can't. No, I, I can't follow that guy. <laughs> you totally should. I'm, I'll be there in the background supporting you, Tony. So always. yes, if you've been following Lauren for the last year going, why the fuck did Tony tag this woman? In? Who is this woman? <laughs> there she is. She's on the show. I saw it's one me. guy who's like, are you going to be on the show? <laughs> me, about yeah, me? Yeah, he commented on the, oh the picture of you with the dune bucket. They're like, are you going to be on the show? <laughs> that was a rare occasion. So... <laughs> Yeah, that was my that was our Valentine's Day. Yeah, you came into the bar and you're like, "What the fuck is that?" Like, I'm like, "What is this pocket pussy <laughs> doing on top of the bar?" I like that the bartender was just like, "What is that? An urn?" I'm like, "Yes, for my <laughs> very fat dead girlfriend." Apparently, it's a giant urn. A fat girlfriend. <laughs> like, if that was an urn, that would have to be for a big broad. I would think it was for your cat, but okay. <laughs> Urns are there. like this big. That bucket is like that big. I mean. Anyway. You asked me to do the human centipede. I did. Yes. You did. No, no, you actually. All I right. said you should be on the show. You said we got to do human centipede. Well, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So let's all go back to 2000. Was uh, this nine or 10? 2009. God, it was 2009. Yeah. Oh, shit. I missed the 10th, 10th anniversary. I should have celebrated. Um, yes, yeah, so all the way back to 2009. Um, I assume you heard about this movie through me. I'm well, just gonna yeah, assume. you told me about it, and then I was like, "Let's do this for Halloween," and, <laughs> and then we never did. No one followed through. So. Yeah, we never did. However, um, so yeah, going back, I remember hearing people talking about Human Centipede like when the trailer came out, but I didn't watch the trailer. I just remember seeing people like on Facebook being like, oh my God, I just saw that human centipede trailer and I'm crying. Oh my God, human centipede, it's gross. I'm like, what the fuck is this movie? It's like a centipede person? What? It's like a monster movie? What is this? So eventually I sat down at my computer. I'm like, all right, let's fire up human centipede trailer. And at the end of the trailer, I went, oh, well, I gotta watch that. <laughs> it became like... It became like a viral sensation. People were like, holy, because this is only a few years after the very famous Two Girls, One Cup. Oh, so, yeah. So eating shit was kind of like all the crazy. It was a thing. <laughs> we it was a th I, I mean, I was eating shit. Yeah, so. we were all, in 2009, we were all eating shit. Right. It was like a cool thing. And I don't know if that's against YouTube's terms of service. So maybe I'll bleep that out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was so excited for this. You didn't come to this, but I had a human centipede party. I'm pissed you didn't invite me, Tony. Did I know who you were at that point? You definitely did. I don't think we were hanging out at that point, though. Well, I mean, you knew who I was. But... We, ev we eventually did watch it together. But yeah, I had a party. I think I might still... You made shirts. I remember you making shirts. No, uh, that was years later. A friend of mine made shirts. I made a poster on the snack table at oh. the party. Oh. <laughs> so you had all the snacks, and, on, and behind the snacks was the diagram of the human centipede. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that poster. I think I might still have pictures of that. I have I to like hunt do. that down. I hope you um, do. So yeah, all my friends got together in our garage. We had the TV. A friend of mine got a copy of the movie. Uh, and we all watched The Human Centipede. And we were like, wow, what a film. Uh, we thought it was the best thing ever. It was something else. Yes, was yes. Something I remember else. my one friend said 
this movie doesn't paint the best picture of Germany. And then he paused and he went, well, neither does history, but this movie's not <laughs> helping. Facts. Um, we were all kind of stunned afterwards. And then that became like my favorite movie. Um, you eventually wanted to see it. I and did. I'm like, I'm like, all right, I still have a copy of the movie. I can't believe I, the second time around, I will say <laughs> it was worse. <laughs> I remember us all really enjoying it. Yeah, you were like, I was texting you during it, and I was like, this is actually worse the second time around. I can't believe I'm watching this the, again. The first time it was fine. The first time was fine. I yeah. was like, this is, this is okay. This is yeah. actually like, you know. Um, so, a little bit background on this film. This is directed by Tom Six, who's a uh, German director. He actually directed the German version of Big Brother, the reality show. Oh, okay. And uh, one of his inspirations for this film uh, was apparently when he was doing Big Brother, the things that the contest, I guess it never made it to air, but he would just see the contestants doing weird ass shit when they thought they weren't being recorded. That's apparently one of his inspirations. But the other one was they, uh, they were watching a story about a cuties fan and he made a comment like, Oh, wouldn't it be cool if you sewed that guy to that guy's mouth to the ass of like a truck driver. I heard about this actually. <laughs> yes. I heard about this. And then he was like, that'll make a movie. Did you hear what he did to the investors for this movie? No. Well, he he apparently went around to investors asking for money about a guy who sews people together, but he never told them how they sewed people together until like the trailer <gasps> came out. <laughs> but apparently they weren't mad about it. But there's like an alternate reality where you're like, hey, what did you use of my money? And then they watch the trailer and they go, oh my God. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, we invested in this. We gotta, you gotta show this guy made this movie. That's he sews people together. Live on Rotten Tomatoes. How, how does he sew them together? I don't know. Let's watch. Well, he, he gave a diagram of <laughs> it. Know. Are you kidding me? But I'm saying, like, if you gave, if you didn't know what the movie was, like, oh, I'm interested to see how he does this. You're like, oh my god, oh. no. Um, he was inspired by an Italian film called Salo, or 120 Days of Sodom. Have you ever seen Salo? No. Well, it'd be right up your alley. It also involves shit eating. So, oh, nice. <laughs> and I think the the Criterion Collection, it's a very prestigious distributor. They put out like very like famous movies, important artistic movies. There's porn. a so it's porn. No, 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 no. Like real legit movies, but they oh, did okay. one for Salo. I'm pretty sure that was as like a joke. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Salo, the Criterion Collection. <laughs> um. So yeah, he was real inspired to do this. He really, really wanted to make this movie. He's made other movies, but I didn't watch it. Um, he apparently uh, didn't like tell the actors exactly what was happening. Uh, or when he was auditioning actors, he would like tell them what the plot was. And most of them would be like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Or some apparently, apparently some of them would be like, yeah, I'm fine with this. Like, okay. Get on all fours and go behind this person. They're like, no, nah, I'm out. So the three actors we got in this. I think they were perfect. They though. were troopers. They, they were troopers. They were, they were, troopers. were ass eating troopers. <laughs> For sure. And I'm sure if you saw them in person, you'd say that to them and they... they I don't think I could ever say that to them. I can't... I would never look them in the eye and say that because that was different. <laughs> Why? I, it was different. So yeah, now the biggest thing in this film is the star, Dieter Laser. The late Dieter Laser. He... R.I.P. R.I.P. Can we, can we yes. do a toast? This is for you, Cheers Dieter. to Dieter. Gone too Turtle soon. Turtle looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> He does kind of look like a turtle without a shell. Does he not? Yeah. He looks like Michelangelo. Go back and watch our worst Ninja Turtles episode. We talk about all the Turtles movies. Or go back and watch Master of Disguise, where Dana Carvey plays the turtle guy. Remember that movie? I I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. You know what? Sorry. Better off. Better Good. off not. Good. That movie is bad. Good. Um, so, yes, he... Uh, he he is amazing. I I said that year he should have won the Oscar for Best Actor. I don't even know who was nominated that year. I don't give a shit about Oscars, but I'm just like, there's no way, there's no way in the world that that guy didn't just do a clean he sweep, was good. clean sweep of every actor award that was in 2009. That was the performance that had the biggest effect on me. Honestly, I it felt real. It felt real. <laughs> Um, but he described it, and also the director, like, this movie is kind of like a weird look of, like, the Nazi psyche, because it's because they're German. They filmed it in the Netherlands, but it's like, 
They're German. The other characters are American and Japanese. So you got kind of a World War II thing there. Right. And even his name, uh, his name is Joseph Heider. And it's like a combination of uh, Joseph Mengele, the famous Nazi scientist who did like horrible things. And then uh, Nazi doctors, uh, Feder and Reichter. You like put them all together and it's like the worst German scientist ever. Mad scientist. <laughs> he really Literally. is. Uh, yeah, and like I said, there was like a huge, huge movie when it came out. It inspired two sequels. We'll get to those at the end of the episode. Yeah. But now it's time to go through this movie, Lauren, <laughs> and find out I'm why. I'm still scarred. And find out why. The second so time around, I'm still scarred, Tony. Thank you for reminding me. So how it bad starts it. off with Dr. Heider just waiting patiently in his car, looking at pictures of his beloved three hound. I forgot yes. I forgot about the dog. When I turned I it on the other day, him. I forgot about the dog. I'm like, oh, that's right. I was like, I'd rather like it be a dog than human, but then oh. Yeah, you kind of feel bad for the dog. I know. Yeah. Also, that was just done in Photoshop. They just like literally just took three dogs and just photoshopped them it together. It looked like it was photoshopped. <laughs> well, because it never had to be alive in the movie. So they're like, no, fuck it, just Photoshop <laughs> three. It might even be the same dog, just copy and paste it. <laughs> um you know, th this is a running theme throughout this film. This doctor has a plan, but he needs people to fulfill that plan. And they keep, keep just falling into his lap, starting with the truck driver. I, just, I mean, the, the, yeah, the truck driver, the scene where the truck driver's taking a shit and immediately he's like right behind him. Yeah. <laughs> I love he comes out. Puts the long overcoat over the gun. Yeah. That's another thing. He's not conspicuous at all. He like puts the gun, but he's walking all awkwardly. I'm like <laughs> if I was driving by, I'm like, oh, that guy's clearly gonna shoot someone <laughs> on a highway too. Like, yeah. Also, know. the truck driver. I mean, like, good on him for having toilet paper. But I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do with your hands, buddy? Like, uh, like you don't have sand. It was 2009. You know, no one cared about that shit. <laughs> Hand sanitizer didn't exist. Didn't You're right. Exist. No one cared. We were all eating shit. Right. <laughs> we're all watching. Literally. We're all watching two girls, one <laughs> cup, and eating shit. <laughs> eating shit. Oh my God. So he tranks him. Yes. And then, okay, credit to Tom. This did end up working out. But usually you don't mention that your movie is like the first part of something. You want to make sure you're going to get that sequel first. But it says Human Centipede first sequence. I'm like, oh, wow. They but were that all... immediately captured my attention. Yeah. Because you're like, wait, first sequence? Is there going to be more? Spoiler, there is more, and they're not well, that good. Yeah. Like, again, there's been other movies that are, like, overconfident. Remember that movie Devil? About the devil on an elevator? Yeah. That was actually good. That was all right. Did you not like that? Uh, I'd have to rewatch it. I remember thinking it was, like, whatever. But yeah. that was, like, M. Night Shyamalan when people were really I starting to get... Much. People were starting to get fed up with his bullshit. But that was supposed to be, like, a series of, like films and that movie opens up with like a glowing number one like this is the first story and then they never did another one so it's like yeah don't they hyped it up so much yeah, like, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. usually dope. keep the number of <laughs> that's why uh, you saw dune 2 mm -hmm. when dune 1 came out all the advertising didn't say dune part one it just said dune. i noticed that because i didn't like i didn't even like dune one you know yeah and i didn't think it would but like it wasn't until you were actually watching the movie that they put the part one there same thing with right. it when it the first it came out yeah, at the end of the movie, it would say chapter one. You're like, oh, come on. You <laughs> yeah. just say, like, oh, now I got to come back. Yeah. Uh, but it worked out for Tom Six here. Um, <laughs> and I have in my notes here, I forgot how hot the girls are in this movie. Because for I the mean, rest. I mean, they're Americans, so. <laughs> what, Americans are the hottest? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're a little biased and there. <laughs> Jokes on. <laughs> kidding. No, oh, but yeah, God. He are. died too, didn't he? The proud. Dude. No, I'm thinking of a different guy. Never mind. Um, <laughs> Toby Keith died. He sang Toby the Keith other. He sang the other American yes. song. <laughs> I had a friend of mine on a podcast the day it happened. Uh, oh, he called he in. He, no, he called into some show and he shit on Toby Keith, having no idea he just died. <laughs> they were like, they're like, they're like, wow, that's too soon. He's like, wait, what? He's like, you know, he just died. Oh He's like, my oh God. shit. Um, Uncultured swine. So yeah, I forgot how hot they were because for the rest of the movie, they're just ass to mouth looking like shit. Um, Mascara running down their face, yeah. just eating each other's asses. Like. <laughs> but in this scene, they're kind of cute. I'm like, oh yeah, and they're also really annoying. They are American girls. Yeah. Do you agree with that one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's that mean? Do we go left or right? 
I'm sorry, I just don't know where we are. They get lost in the middle of wood, <laughs> middle of the woods looking for a nightclub. In heels. In heels, and they get a flat tire. Mm-hmm. Now, uh... The creepiest part about this, though, yeah. is that guy that drives up next to them and okay. is literally like... Okay, okay, real quick. The version I got that I got totally legally didn't have subtitles. So what did that guy say? I remember it being gross. Do you want to know what he said? Yeah, what did Tony? he say? He yeah. said, I've seen you before in a movie. I'm going to fuck both of you. Okay. And went like this. Ah. I knew he said something pervy. Creepy. But the like I said, the version I downloaded didn't have subtitles. And I was just like... You should have gotten that AMC I Plus. I should have gotten the AMC Plus, <laughs> but I thought the subtitles would be baked in. I didn't yeah. know they wouldn't be on there. Yeah. But you know what? Because this movie is just so good. The visual story, I was able to tell what I'm, was I'm happening. Sure you could, yeah, I'm sure you could pick out what he was You could probably watch this movie. I mean, like... You could watch this movie on mute and be like, yeah, I know what's happening. Exactly. He's a pedophile. I don't think he's a pedophile. All right, not a we pedophile. We say cuties but... fan. A what? We say Cuties fan on the show. Cuties fan. Cuties fan. Oh, Cuties. Remember that Netflix movie, Cuties? No. Oh, God, no. We don't have enough time for that. Yeah, we're not going to get it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. You got you to gotta learn the code words of the Hack the Movies universe, all right? Well, you should have told me fan, this. Cuties fan is a big you one. You should have told me this. Actually, we say it more than I would <laughs> like to say. Look, well, a lot I of movies. why. A lot of movies deal with this topic. I didn't realize it. <laughs> You put on speed two. You don't expect that subplot. You're like, what the fuck? All right. Um, go back and check out the speed two review. When this came out, uh, Daniel Tosh did a review of it on his show. Oh my God. Wow. And Throw I that. forget. I only remember two parts of that review because I'm going to mention one later. But I remember that it's burned into my brain. I remember him being like, so then they stop because he gets a they get a flat tire. He's like, and I'm calling bullshit. Women will drive two years on a flat tire. Facts. There's no way they're stopping. Facts. <laughs> yeah, I like the fact they're like, wow, it's just a flat tire. I guess we're just done. I'm like, it's all right. My check engine lights on. I have a flat tire. We're good. We're good. By, by the way, it was like a rental. It's like, okay. Oh, but they're in Germany, though. I know. It's a rental. And they're in Germany. They could get out and be like, we'll just stiff them with the, but we're not going to pay for that. <laughs> Instead, they're like, oh, well, everything's ruined. We're staying in the car. The guy is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that again? We can slow that down. Uh, right. Uh, I hope you zoom in on this. Uh, I licked your microphone. Sorry. I can't wait for the episode to come out, and you watch this, forgetting you did that. I hope, and you and you text me I going, hope "I you can't f- believe you left that in." I don't even give a fuck. You, uh, if she fucking texts me saying, "Why did you leave that in?" I'm gonna show the goddamn okay. text the day after. Hand on the Bible. I don't give a fuck. That's not a Bible. That's. The- Piece of wood. I'm glad you consider my set so. Uh, yes. Daisy Dinosaur Apocalypse. I don't give a fuck. There you go. You know anyway. Who, you know who's in Daisy Durkin's Dinosaur Apocalypse? Two people you know me and Mummy Cop. No way. That's right. I'm in. That's why it's in the front of me. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Mummy Cop has an appearance in that. Oh and God. so do I. Available now. <laughs> On DVD and VHS. <laughs> I think it's just DVD. Uh, anyway. So they're like, oh, well, we can't we can't possibly stay in the car while it rains until morning. It's like, hey, yeah, you probably can. Well, they had no signal. They had There's no signal. always signal. And it's like, I guess not in the middle of the woods sometimes, but. In, in, in Germany. In Germany? Dude, in 2009, signal was so bad. Like, if I was outside in my backyard, I couldn't get fucking signal. I don't yeah. know why they're shocked by this. Although I am getting nostalgic for old brick phones. I, I've missed the brick phones. I do, too. I do, too. I miss phones with buttons. Me, too. That's why I keyboard. get stupid. I need a keyboard. That's why I get stupid phones, like the, the fold-out screen thing. Yeah, that's too much. It's too much. I'm jealous. <laughs> all right, so they're like, all right, let's just uh, go through the woods. The, why did they go in the woods? Why not just go on because the Because that's w- how every horror movie starts, Sony. I mean, it was predictable at this point. Well, no, they usually they that. hitchhike or something, but like they could have just kept going down the road the direction they came in. Instead, they're like, no, we'll cut through the woods of Germany. We don't know what's where. Right, because that's just how it is. Have you ever been broken down and you just wandered into the woods? No. <laughs> you know why? Because millions of people have my location for a reason. <laughs> I was gonna I say am a I national was gonna, threat. I was gonna say you were like, <laughs> no, because I drove on all four flat tires. <laughs> right, I did actually. <laughs> I didn't need headlights because the sparks were just you don't lighting need up. No everything. headlights. No headlights. We're always driving with one headlight. So 
they're screaming at each other and goddamn, I forgot how annoying. Jessica they were. and Lindsay, right? Uh, Jen. I think it was Jenny and Lindsay. Let me double check. I think it's Jessica. No, it's Jenny. It's Jenny, Jenny and okay. Lindsay. Uh, we are more than a little lost. I forget what they say. And they kept saying their names, which I thought I found was a little annoying. I that's something you got to do in movies to let them know what your name is, especially since but they're not like, going to say each other's name for the rest of the film. You got to like say their name a bunch of times. Although Japanese guy, he has a name, but they never say it in the movie. So he's just in my notes as Japanese, Japanese guy. Japanese guy. I mean, he. <sighs> that's what we all called him. I know he has a name in the credits, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, we didn't get that far. <laughs> so uh, they yell, they spot a house. Right. Ends up being the worst house they possibly could The turtle could doctor. <laughs> yeah. And on the way there, they find, the, they, they don't notice the tombstone for Mein Lieber Three Hound. Ugh. My beloved Three Hound. I, that broke my heart. He buried it. He gave it, it a nice heart Because I honestly, immediately I understood like the third dog died. I knew No, that. no, no. All three of them died. He, it was, he named it Three Hound and he buried all of them. <laughs> you thought just the one dog died? I thought the one dog died because, you know. I'm going with this. Well, that was just an experiment. I don't think it was ever going to last that long. That's why he's building an another one. And of course, this doctor who's probably spending his days going like, how am I going to get two other people? These girls knock on his door and he's like, this is the best day of my life. I right. didn't even have to try. They literally came to me. Right. <laughs> the giant picture of Siamese fetuses is a little much. I immediately I was watching it and I was like, wait, um... Look, Lauren, Lauren, I know I, uh, I'm a guy who talks about movies and I have a lot of movies around, but I feel like there are some jobs that maybe you don't want to take your work home with you and put on display. And the uh, Siamese fetus is blown up into an eight foot photo. That might be a little much. So you want me to paint that for you? No. Is what you're saying. <laughs> I will say it's a good conversation starter, it but is. then he says, I don't like human beings. <laughs> it's like, well. That gave me chills, honestly. I was like, wait, I don't remember this part in this movie the first time I saw it. And when I saw it the second time, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And, the f and the first time I was watching, I'm like, why do you have all those Siamese twins? What's yeah. up with that? You learn what it is. He starts asking them questions. And ladies, get out. Just get out. Don't go in the house. But why would he ask them if they want anything to drink? Are, and are, immediately. But, real quick, he's like, are you tourists? And you're like, yeah. And then you go, are you related? I'm like, okay, these questions are getting a little weird, buddy. Right. Um, I would be at once. I would be out. I would never go into the house. I know it was raining, but I'm like, yeah, I'll just wait, hang out here. Can you call someone? Well, I wouldn't even ask the guy to call someone. I would have been like, can I make the phone call? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I thought that was weird. Or, and again, I know it's raining. It sucks. Yeah. But I'd be like, well, there's a house. That might mean there's a road that leads to a town. To a town. <laughs> yeah. All of the yellow brick road at that point. <laughs> yeah, this movie's really Wizard of Oz if you think about it. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. So, yeah, he is creepy as hell. I, this part is really disturbing when he goes in the kitchen and he's pretending to do the phone call. Right. And it was, like, way too good the way he, yeah. he made it seem like he was actually on the phone. And the girls believed it. And I don't know. And then and then he comes back. And I, I, for, I forgot how funny this is. Water. Water, but he goes, he, he, water. Yeah, he goes like this when he hands water, water. I don't know. It Cause he's crazy. a weirdo. He doesn't and his like turtle ass face. I still can't get that face out of my mind. His face Bug looks eye. like a turtle. <laughs> yeah, it's so creepy. Um, so then he continues to be really creepy. He like immediately he's just once he sees they're drinking, he's like, Well, they're mine. I'm gonna just lay on my couch and, and he's just, like, like zone out. Holding the side of the couch, like <laughs> clenching it. Like Um, I like when he like screams at the one for dropping the drink. He's like, oh yeah! I'm German. And I'm <laughs> like, I was like, why aren't there subtitles now? <laughs> we needed those subtitles. And he's like, I'm going to fetch a towel. But really, he's like concocting like another needle. Yeah. And I think down there is when we see like the truck drivers like uh, all tied up. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, he comes up. Uh, what you call it? Jenny is knocked out because mm -hmm. she drank all of it. Lindsay tries to run. She starts like throwing up and he like hits her with the needle. He got her though. He got her good. He got her. It took he got a minute, her. but he got her. By the way, I love that. Like as soon as she started feeling woozy, he's like, that's the date rape drug. I'm like, oh man. But he said it's so creepy. Like, I know. That's I'm gonna be honest. I don't think there's like a non-creepy way to say that. <laughs> but it was you, you, German, you, so it's even creepier. I don't know. Let, let's, me, let's, let's, let's try. Oh, it's the date rape drug. Was that creepy? Kind of. Yeah. There's no non-creepy <laughs> way to say 
<laughs> but in like a low monotone voice, like that's the Tetra. <laughs> yeah, that sounded like Dracula. Right. That's how you sound it. <laughs> Who's your favorite Dracula? Mm. What the fuck did you just drop? That was a cat. Okay. That was my fidgets. <laughs> Reset. Um, sit sit down before you answer. Um I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Do you want to know my favorite Dracula? Who's your favorite? Oh, God, we're going to put on a mask. My favorite is Gary Oldman from oh the 1992 <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. We He's have an episode. We have an episode on it. Watch it. I spent, I spent, <laughs> I spent more money than I would. I'm I don't willing even know to how much you spent on that, but it's a this is from mask. 19, This is from 1992 when the wow. movie came out. That's why it's falling apart. <laughs> it's beautiful. See, in 2020, before the economy collapsed, I was finally getting disposed. I was getting disposable income. I'm like, I'm going to buy stupid shit. <laughs> My investments hey, are doing fine. really well. Nothing will ever go wrong. <laughs> and then. I will buy that really expensive Biden. mask. That's, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Biden, fix the economy. Is what ah, you shut up. <laughs> shut up. Leave a base in the chat or the comments. <laughs> No right. politics. Okay, okay, okay. The next day, he's having a lovely breakfast, just ripping up all their documents. Their passports. Yeah. And it's canned fruit. Canned fruit. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't think about canned fruit. I don't think that, I mean. You don't think he should be eating canned fruit? I don't know. It was just gross. The scene was just gross. The way yeah. he was eating it. The way he eats it's everything. It's like ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> it was creepy. I'm going to get a lab coat. I'm going to do uh, human centipede ASMR. No. God, that's nasty. Or it's just going to be me going like, water. <laughs> water. And then just screaming in German randomly. Okay, so he goes downstairs. And the truck driver is all gagged and whatnot. And he lets the truck driver know like, hey, buddy, you're not a match. I got to kill you. I thought he just died. No, he kills the truck driver. Hold on. Did now you walk I out during that scene? I no, I thought the truck driver died from the anesthesia that he gave him. No, no, he he, he like, says oh. he's going to kill him. Oh, okay, I missed that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he tells I him because he's not a match. He doesn't need him. The other two are matches. Okay. Uh, so he tells him, and he goes like, "It's nothing personal," and like just does the so matter of fact and calmly. But then as he's killing him, he goes like wide eyed. I'm like, ah, I don't like this. She I don't want it. that to be the last thing I see before I die. Is him just being like, with his turtle ass face. <laughs> Creepy as hell. I'm sorry. I just keep picturing the turtle guy. I know. I can't stop guy. thinking about it. <laughs> um, where are we at here? <laughs> so the next day he shows up with Japanese guy who I'm sure has a name, but it's not said in the movie. Uh, and this guy has no idea what's going on. He yeah. does. I like that. He doesn't understand anyone and no one understands him. But so he does at the same time. He starts to like get it, but like yeah. there's a language barrier with him and the other two. They have no idea what's going on. So yeah, Dr. Hyder, he puts on a fancy coat. His white coat. <laughs> yeah. Gets all dressed up. And all he's doing this presentation of as if it's totally normal while this guy's screaming nonstop. I'm Dr. Joseph. Okay, what are you? How's the but he lets them know, he's like, hey, I was a very famous surgeon. I was specialized in separating Siamese twins, which I don't know how common that is. It's a, uh, maybe I, in Germany. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know much about Germany. <laughs> Me neither. Um, I mean, I know some historical things they did. Uh, but other than that, I don't know much about them. Uh, I have to look that up. Like, how common are Siamese should. twins? Hmm. How common can how? Easy is it to separate most of them? You ever see those girls with the two heads? Yeah, that's that. And like one of them got married. That's. But like both of them got married at the same time. Like they married twins too, which was weird. There's a documentary on it. It's so creepy. If only they had this doctor in their life. Right. <laughs> so he tells him, "It's like, yeah. So I was really known for this. I'm retired now." He's like, "But I want to do something different. I want to connect things now." And By the ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, anyway, here's some here's an example of what I did with the, the dog. The fact that he told them, I would rather you if I was in that situation, I would rather you not tell me what you're about to do to me. And it my makes mouth. it scarier, Are yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, if I was in that situation, I'd be like front piece, front piece, front piece, right, front piece, right. front piece, front piece. Or even back piece, like kill me immediately. <laughs> Please. 
Um, so yeah, he tells him, it's like, all right, well, I'm going to break like your kneecap so you won't be able to stand. Uh, I'm going to cut open your mouth. I'm going to cut open your jaw and attach the ass to your mouth and you will all, and take all your teeth out Mm -hmm. and you'll all share one gastric bypass. I think that's what got me was I'm going to, I'm going to eat someone else's shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the back person has to eat like re shit it shit. Right. So there's no nutritional value. Well, that was the thing. So when he <laughs> when he was when he was advertising this, he said it's like a hundred percent medically accurate. And then someone right. looked into it and it's like, well, if you don't get an infection, you would have to have an IV drip because you're there's no way the back piece is gonna get the middle and back piece won't get enough nutrients because you're right. shitting out the stuff your body doesn't need. It's like you need something. It's literally bringing it down and you're yeah. Putting it back out there. I yeah. mean, I don't. <laughs> it's it's. I don't, it, know. I don't think it was 100 percent accurate. I think that was <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> re- I don't know. Although I did like in the sequel when they were advertising it, they were like 100 percent medically inaccurate. <laughs> like they just owned it. I'm glad they finally uh, put that out there. <laughs> so he's explaining this like all calmly. They're all freaking out. Um, Lindsay is able to uh, get out. She is, but it was weird the way that happened. I, it kind of it was cringe because she escaped, but the way I don't know. Oh yeah, like the IV comes. The out. IV comes out. It's so she's bleeding blood. a lot. God damn it! I hated her in this scene. I'm I just, didn't like this scene because I'm it like, was, go to the front door. Look for the front door. Why would you go into the bedroom? Well, the front door was locked. I believe the front was door was it? locked. Yeah, and then she from the, the inside. <sighs> yeah. People think. That's like a myth, locking your door from the inside. But I think that's smart. When we moved into this house years ago, it actually had those locks. I'm like, I've only ever seen these in the movies where you can lock from the inside. I'm like, that's bizarre. Why would anyone have this? This feels murdery. We changed <laughs> the locks. We changed the locks because it felt a little murdery. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, she goes to the bedroom. And I like that he, one, he sleeps with a picture of, like, one of his surgeries above I him. Know. And then he also sleeps with a picture of the three hound next to his bed. He really loves. He's obsessed with that three hound. It was almost like to the point where, like, did you did you fuck the three hound? He probably did. He doesn't like human beings. Yeah. In I mean, you thought about this more than me, apparently. No comment. I didn't know the specifics of how he did it. I mean, people. What are they? What's it called? Bestiality or whatever that is. Like all women with dogs. All women with dogs. They're all sleeping with their dogs. Not you. You're one of the good ones. I definitely cuddle my dog, but I don't sleep with my dog. Is that? No, that's a theory men have. They're like, women are a little too into their dogs. Something's up. Something's up with this. Hey. Don't get me started. (laughs) (laughs) So she's hiding out in the bedroom. He's trying to open up the door. And then he comes through the glass. He, like, breaks his own glass window. Right. She ends up uh, going into the pool. She went into like that was the, a, I think that was honestly the best scene in that in the movie. That is like the most tense scene, I think, when she's yeah. in there. Because he's got like the gun with the trank. I was waiting and, for him to shoot her. And I, he just let her have it. I know. He I, like, I, he's, he was like, I'm defeated at this point. I don't like when he was just like, I don't want to hit your eye because I got like a bad thing with eyes. That's another thing on the show. I, I, I have a phobia of stabbed eyes. Really? And I had my eye stabbed. And I had to have multiple surgeries You've involving had your needles. Eye stabbed. Yeah, we're not gonna get into it okay, because we've another, explained it many that's times. Another topic for yeah. another day. But the fans are so nice and so caring. They don't do things like make me pencil holders that are stabbed eyeballs. Okay, so that explains that. Um Yeah. Thanks, Flail. And it's like you could put actual pens in there. Yeah, you okay. literally <laughs> stab it. No. Stab the cornea. <laughs> stab the fuck out of the cornea. <sighs> it's oh, my, it's I'm my sorry. Bi- it's my biggest fear. So, like, the first time I watched this, I'm like, please don't shoot her in the eye. Please don't shoot her in the eye. <laughs> Fun fact, um, once you actually experience your biggest fear, it just gets scarier. I'm now more please scared. Don't tell me this. Anyway, thanks. I'll tell you the whole story afterwards. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, he lets her know. It's like, hey, um, this or death. Huh? This or what? No. This or the middle. Yes. He basically goes, yeah. I had a dog try to escape, so I made him the middle piece. He's like, the middle piece is the worst because you have to get cut on both sides right. and it's the most healing. And it's like 
the most painful? And he's like, you are the middle you piece. You are the middle piece. And she's like, just fucking kill me. I would too. I'm like, oh, please, dude, like, just kill me. Are you kidding me? I would not want to get my ass cut open <laughs> and get my mouth cut open. Are you kidding me? You're like, you're like, one or the other, not both. I mean, oh, my God. There's only so much a person There's can handle. There's only so much anesthesia a person can take. <laughs> the power goes out. <laughs> the power, timing. Yeah, the power goes out. He's like, ah, oh, shit, the generator, because he was trying to cover her up in the pool cover. Yes, but she was smart enough yeah. to go up Yeah. and realize, oh, okay. Gonna... Yeah, and then he goes to take care of that instead of just taking care of her right away. Well, he leaves her alone for a while, and then she does the dumbest thing she could have ever done. Go back for her friend. I just, mean, I get it. Just run away. Just I run away. It. Just run away. People have accused me of running away from dangerous situations and leaving my friends behind. You know those people. And Bob Penhurst. Anyway. Um, I didn't. I honestly don't think I left. I think we all ran out together. But they Hey, all I wasn't there. You weren't there. I wasn't there. I yeah, apartment. you know what? Uh, you were there. The, I, they all lied. And said that right. I ran away and didn't tell anyone that there were other people. They're all a bunch of fucking liars. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so she goes back for her goddamn friend. And I'm sorry, Lauren. I get it. If I was, no, I get it. If I was in another country, I would come back for my friend and get her body and drag her ass out. No. No? No. No. No, this is a situation where you get help and come back later. But what if she was dead when I came back later? I would feel guilty as shit. Well, knowing how the movie ends up, you're all going to die. Ah, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, I'm sorry. If we're, if we're in Germany for whatever reason and this happens to us and I get an escape, I'll be like, hey, Lauren, I'll try my best to come back um, if there's time. Uh, our flight is tomorrow. I got to make it. But I'll let them know where you oh are. My God. And I'm getting the fuck out of there. No. Instead, she and by the way, she breaks her. She brings her through like the broken glass, so she's getting like all shredded That's, up in her legs. I felt that. I was like, oh, yeah. God, this feels, I, Except I don't, I don't think she has cuts afterwards, so it's a little cut. Yeah, it's Which continuity. I was kind of annoyed about. Like, yeah. why they show that, but all right, whatever. Uh, and then of course, what happens happens. The doctor finally shoots her. He let that go on for a it, while. It wasn't a gun though. It was. It was a tranquilizer gun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a tranquilizer. He hits her with the trank and. Just run away. Just leave but your friends to run away. I think the outside scene was more of, I I don't know. That was like a really good scene for me because it was like he almost let her experience freedom when when she was outside. Oh. Was escaping. Remember that? And then he yeah. shot her. Like It was like, a, here's a taste of freedom. Like, uh, like Bane in The Dark Knight Rises when he mm -hmm. tells Batman, it's like, I want you to have hope and then I'll take it away. Right. Did you know I was in that movie? I had no idea. You didn't, you didn't see the shrine over there to the movie? Tony, I was looking at Alien 3. Not <laughs> fucking, I didn't turn my head this way, but now I did. And I'm in that movie. Shit. Remember when I went to Pittsburgh to be in that movie? I mean. Did you forget that? I was in the football scene of that movie. when I, I did. When, <laughs> Sorry. Lauren's last episode, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. That poster is the name of every episode and the time code for when I name drop that I was in. I was going to say, it looks like it's very, uh, like, broken down. A fan made that. That's every time I mentioned that I was in the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, my <laughs> So there's some episodes where I said it, like, four times. I'm so glad you're almost famous. Anyway, that, do you care if I pee real quick? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm my God. Pee. Yes, quick, quick, quick. quick. The girl was outside. Yes, yes, yes. So he's captured her. Yes. Now they're back inside. He starts the surgery, and I will say, the movie is more subtle than you'd expect it to be. Like, it's not graphic. It's a good buildup. Yeah, but I'm like, it's not like, gr it is gross, it, but they don't show a lot of it. Like, this is probably the most you get with him. But there's, she has, she's bleeding everywhere. So yeah, maybe that's but, gross. I mean, I wouldn't want to see that but, in the first 10 minutes yeah, that's true. I'm glad they build up to it. But, like, even at the time, like, I remember watching, I'm like, I expected this to be even, like, in your face gross, mm -hmm. like, very graphic, like, showing everything. Yeah. But, yeah, you only get to see, like, the one shot of, like, her, like, chin or cheek missing. And then 
You see him slicing up the butt. <laughs> I wish they did more of that, though. I think it would have been... Well, I think, I that, think it would have got out of 10 I think instead that's, of 4.5. <laughs> Three or whatever the fuck. I think is. that's where the sequels lost me because the sequels <laughs> do go a little like, or at least the second one had like poop shooting out yeah. and shit. Um, so yeah, I kind of ex- like respect that. I'm like, oh, they could have made this like a real gross out thing, but it kind of works better not showing all of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he uh, he lets them heal for a few days. He takes a nap. Uh, he it gets felt his- like it was a year though. <laughs> I think it was just a few days. It was he just gets- a few days. It felt I like a year. He gets the window fixed. And he's wearing his nice and outfit. And he's sitting there like, he's with like, a turtle ass face. <laughs> and then it's finally the day. Now, I need to, I, this is a big mystery. How the fuck is he getting them upstairs? That, I wish they touched on that because I had, I was curious about that. Yes. I'm um, the whole time like. Because they were not properly stitched. And I'm like, how are Did you they? Drop another... I dropped my fidget spinner. Oh my god! It's not even a fidget spinner. It's a plastic cap. It's my autism spinner. <laughs> Whatever. It's somewhere. I'll get it later. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, they never explain how he gets them up and down the stairs because during the escape later, we th- it's assumed <laughs> there's only one way up and down. It's You're like right. there's no fucking way. But did you notice the stairs curved? And I was like, how? Yeah. Did this happen. There's no way he can get them up unless there was, like, a lift or something. They, there should have been something where, like, that's how he's getting us up and down, but we don't have, like, the key for it or and something like that. they were like knocked that. out. They were knocked yeah. out with anesthesia. I, exactly. This, this how I did he, like, get. cart them in there? It, like, it's a big mystery. It's a huge mystery. They should have touched on this more. You know, he's a mad scientist. This is where you have, like, All the right. hunchback assistant <laughs> helping or something like right. that. where's the hunchback? Yeah. Um... So yeah, he. Do, I have a question here. Do you think uh, Playboy was thrilled that they had their logo tattooed on the guy? I didn't know what to think about that, but they <laughs> zoomed in on it. Yeah, they really did. Did you notice that? I'm expecting like someone from Playboy going. Why are oh. you zooming in on it? <laughs> I'm like going like, what? oh god, why is our logo in this? Right. You think I, they had to license it? Like, hey, we want to use the Playboy logo. Oh, for what? Ah, just a little movie. Just, yeah. Just a, <laughs> What's the movie about? Ah, nothing. <laughs> yeah, just to throw some suspense in there. No worries. You gotta it put was it weird. on. You gotta put it on a hot girl. I'm like, no, a guy. <laughs> no, it's a Japanese guy. He's getting his ass eaten by two chicks. <laughs> yeah, maybe they thought it was a porn. They're like, oh, the girl's gonna go on this guy. Yeah, we'll give it to it's you. It's a German porno. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um. So yeah, he finally reveals them. They don't take it well. I did it! <laughs> the doctor in this scene, he is so happy. He's cr- he was crying. He, cr- I one day I wish to create something that will make me feel this happy. Not this. Not I don't want. I don't want to stitch people ass to mouth. Yeah, no. But, but you know, just something like maybe make a really. Good I want to feel what he felt in that yeah. moment. Whatever that is. But I get if it. If I if I ever have a kid, the the joy I feel that day, I want to be like, this must have been how the doctor <laughs> felt in human centipede. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing I created. <laughs> That's awful. I'll be in the hospital room with the with the camera going, and as the kids coming out, I'll also bring the mirror up like right, the doctor does. Like, I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, he is crying. He makes out with himself in the mirror. Yeah, it was like almost like the beginning scene where yeah. the guy came comes up and he's like, yeah. ah, ah. <laughs> he was friends with that guy, I guess. I would assume they scream all night long, which I guess makes sense. I would too. I'd be like, ah, if my ass. <laughs> Got chopped up. I think I'd be screaming too. And if someone's <laughs> mouth was attached to it, I think. Oh, do they still have the tongue? You know, that's a good question. I have no idea. I have no idea. Is I would it... assume they don't have the teeth. They don't have their. They teeth. don't have the teeth. They don't have almost. They have half their jaws oh, cut off. Yeah. Cut open. Are they tongue in the hole? Ah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna throw up. That's a mystery. <laughs> that's a mystery. I mean, it's fine if you're into that, but you don't want it 24 seven. Like, no. what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, the next day, he takes them outside again. How is he getting them around? Right. And he's trying to teach them to walk together. How did he get them out there? <laughs> What's <laughs> concerning is he was speaking to them like they're dogs. Like 
giving them yeah, a newspaper. Yeah, they're a replacement for his three hound. But they're human, which is so cringe. Because he's an insane person. It was so cringe. I, I, That's what threw me off. I was like, okay, now you finally experimented on humans, and you're treating them you know what like... I, you know what I think it is? He's a doctor for humans. So maybe the dog didn't work out because he wasn't a vet. And he's like, well... I don't know how dogs work, but I know how humans work. I'd probably keep a human alive for a long time. <laughs> it was just weird. It was. What'd you call it? Uh, then he has dinner and the Japanese guy bites the doctor. This was, I, this was, I think the best, the highlight of the movie. I think this was like. When he bite, bites the doctor? Yes. It was beautiful. I, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Again, I, this is my second time watching it. Yeah. I, didn't, I forgot about that scene. I remember they mentioned Japanese have strength yeah. when they're in like a situation. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah. Why he just bites his fucking foot. And then he just kicks the guy in the and face. He just kicks him. He's like, don't ever fucking do that again. I'll take all your teeth out. I'll suck your blood. <laughs> yeah, he's Dracula. <laughs> yeah. He sounded like. Oh, Dracula. man. Fucking. I wish this guy was alive. He would be a good Dracula. <laughs> would i would love to get to see him i'm doing it with ai i'm making him you Dracula. Should. you should i honestly it would be perfect i don't know why they put him in human centipede <laughs> it's the worst dracula ever dracula's supposed to be charming with ladies <laughs> He's just i mean like he not. was charming a little ah. bit. <laughs> so the next day the doctors make a fun of japanese guy and he makes chicken sounds you ever watch arrested development I have, yes. You know how, like, there's a running gag where the family doesn't know how to make chicken sounds? I don't remember that part, but... Yeah, so, like, there's a thing where they're always like, buck, buck, or they're like, buck, 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 cuck, 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 cuck. The whole family, none of them know how to make a chicken sound. And, like, the sound he's making in this also doesn't sound like a chicken sound. Cuck, 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 and then it happens the japanese guy goes oh shit i have to shit and he feels really bad about it he was like sorry he's like i'm sorry like, meanwhile the doctor's like feed her he was jerking off to this <laughs> Japanese guy shitting himself. And again, so they're all like bandaged up and everything. Yeah. So you don't see it. But you can definitely feel what's happening. Yes. If yes. that makes sense. That's why I don't like when like, again, I can't remember the second one that well, but I'm pretty sure poop was flying. I think that's why it was black and white to cup. So they wouldn't get NC-17. <laughs> I'm like, this is so much more effective when you're just thinking about it. You're like, oh, no, it I don't really like is. this. I don't like this. It really is. Um, <laughs> the girl's like hitting him to like, like stop, and he's like, "No, no." <laughs> he's, like, he's like, "Sorry." <laughs> oh man. Oh my god! And then the doctor goes for a naked swim. What was the purpose of that? I didn't understand that. Why oh. were they watching him swim naked? Well, he's trying to treat them like a pet, so they got to hang around him all the time. Right. Uh, and I guess if you had your own pool that was indoors, why wouldn't you? They were being somewhat obedient, if you notice. They were starting to... Well, there's not much they can do. <laughs> right. But the Japanese guy got smart. Yeah. And kind of cut off a part of... What was it? A chair? Yeah. But then the doctor noticed. That that part is like when he has them walk out and then he comes out with the whip and like we don't see him whipping. He beat the shit out of yeah, him. Yeah. You're yeah. like, oh, I feel bad. For... I actually felt that. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. And again, you don't see it, which you is pretty cool. I, I like this. For as gross as the movie is, like you don't really see too much yeah. violence and it's more effective. Mm -hmm. um, you do get a little bit of gore later. So rewinding the cage, like you said, you're yeah. right. You're right. We we skipped over the we cage. Skipped over the cage. They're like screaming nonstop because he lets In the him. Cage, yeah. Yes, and he comes out. And he's like, I need to sleep. Yeah. And then he lets him know he's like, I'm going to remove your vocal cords. It's like, oh, buddy, come on. I know. You're just come on, like, like give these guys a fucking break. <laughs> I'm like, you have. I don't know what you use, but you have a way to get them downstairs. Leave them downstairs. Right. It honestly makes sense why they would put the Japanese guy there because mm. he can understand him. Yeah. So. Yeah. No offense. None taken. Okay. What, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, if I was the doctor, I'd 
Because he can speak English. He figured he'd make one of the girls the right, front. Right, he didn't want to hear the girls. He put the Japanese I on. mean, who does? Uh... Oh, <laughs> Tony. Are you so glad we became friends again? No. <laughs> I'm done with your ass. You sexist pig. <laughs> Look, it's been a... It's been a rough decade, all right? A lot's sure, happened. Fine. I get a lot, it. A lot's happened since the I first time it. we watched Human Centipede, all right? <laughs> I get it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the next day he realizes that uh, Lindsay is holding in her shit and she's constipated. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he notices that Jenny's got an infection. Which he, he was like, okay, we need to get rid of you because you're about to die. Yeah, he's like, you're probably dying. We got to get we gotta get rid of you. Right? And this... This part is gross when he pulls the pus out of her cheek. Oh I know, God. and like he smelled it, and you can see He's it like, in his face. He does gross. he wear gloves when he does any of this shit? I feel no. like he does it. He's I've so... never seen him wear gloves or wash his hands. Like he wants to keep this thing alive. You think he? <sighs> yeah. Right. So um, so she's dying. Uh, then he gets a call from his front door, and I do like this scene where he. This is my favorite. When he like. Picks up the phone, they start screaming. He's like, "Shut up!" Like, Shut the fuck up in German. You know, <laughs> like it just sounds so much harsh. Yeah. It sounds worse in German, I should say, than it does in yeah. you know, American. I guess TMI. I knew a girl once. I wanted to try to like dirty talk in German. And I had to tell her to stop. I'm, oh. like, I, I'm like, I feel like a beast. Tony. I need to hear. That. <laughs> Oh my god! She's like, I talk in German. I'm like, what's that like? I'm like, I'm like, stop doing that. I feel like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I feel like That's I'm being yelled like. at. I don't like this. Get this out of here. Ew. And that was my German experience. <laughs> so the cops come in, and they're investigating the missing girls. And this is where I'm going to need they're your help. They're badass though. They're in yeah. leather, like they're in leather <laughs> jackets, just showing yeah. up at the dude's house. Now I remember the scene. I know what's happening, but again, my version of the film didn't have subtitles. What does he say exactly that really gets them on the radar? The, uh, no, they asked if they can. He they can come in and yeah. into his house, and he's like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." Yeah, but he starts to get like real suspicious. I think. The cop or the, no, the, the doctor? No, the doctor gets suspicious, and you can tell the cop, like, well, again. the cops I, knew. Yeah, the, the cops co knew that The day. cops kind of figure out, they're like, something's up with this fucking right. guy. It's creepy as fuck. There's two cars in front of his, well, on the street. Yeah. You know, and they ha the cops even admit it. He that never someone... went and moved the car. Yeah, that was a dumb That was a dumb car. fucking thing to do. Like, you gotta, like, move that car and then get a cat. Oh, my God stupid okay okay see that those were the details i was missing when i was yeah. watching it going like i wonder what they're saying <laughs> um, there it is so yeah um and he wants to give them water <laughs> he's like do you want some water <laughs> the damn like, yeah. so the one cop is dumb enough to drink the water but the other one is and he like drops the glass Hyder mm -hmm. loses his cool um and then, uh, oh yeah, he loses he loses his cool. Then the glass gets knocked out of his hand. He's like, "Stop! Uh, now drink your water!" Like real obvious. He was forcing it, and it was I was like, "Real You're obvious." Yourself away, and then he drops <laughs> the um, the towel that has. No, no, that's that's coming up. Oh, so he drops the glass. He's like, "I'm gonna go get a towel," and then he goes down and he's making a tranquilizer. Right. And then he stops to brag to the centipede. He's like, by the way, we got two other ones. <laughs> Maybe centipede. We'll, yeah, we'll make like a four uh four person centipede. <laughs> yeah. Let me go up there. This man had high hopes that he was literally gonna How? kill both the cops. Yeah, and, and the, add on to the the centipede he already has. And he didn't think anyone would go around looking for the cops right. and go like, well, they said they were going to this house. Right. Let's go into that house. <laughs> This man. What the fuck was he expecting? At? He's he's starting to lose it. You know, he got a little overconfident making the centipede, yeah. and he didn't think far enough ahead. No. I think when he was... The steak scene, I don't know. That was creepy. <laughs> so, uh, he gets that. The Japanese guy grabs the scalpel. Uh, Hyder mm -hmm. loses... This is when he loses his cool, and he's like, ah! And then he drops the needle. And they're yes. like, what's that? He's like, I'm diabetic. It's like, oh, and you just... We're keeping your type. Your you were ins hiding. <laughs> you were hiding. That you were insulin. diabetic. Like it was a problem. Like you. Like you're on. Mo I, look, I'm crack. not. I'm not diabetic. Do most people just walk around with their insulin? While I mean, they're most people have have, a, have like a fanny pack type of thing. <laughs> oh, okay. That you carry around. I mean, my cat. I have to give my cat insulin twice a day. Your your cat has diabetes. 
Yeah, yeah. How? It wasn't my fault, I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> but you know what's funny? The moment she I get it. You know what's funny? The moment she became my cat is the moment she needed hundreds of dollars worth of insulin every few months. Oh. I love my sister so much. Aww. Well, this gift that she's given me. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah. This gift of a cat that I never liked that is now mine. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> anyway, uh, but the point is, I don't go walking around all day long with her insulin needle. <laughs> I mean, is she type one, type two? That's what you got to figure out. Have you ever seen me at the bar? Just like, hey, what's up, Lord? Oh, this is my cat's insulin needle. <laughs> I... Tony, you you brought some weird shit to the bar. I brought one popcorn a bucket. Flashlight. Look, I brought bar. one. But unless you're saying Manny is weird shit, Manny's great. You named your. No, Manny is my friend that I introduced you to. He's cool. He's cool. Lauren did the worst thing you could possibly oh do to a comedian in public. I brought Manny muskets. I didn't say his last name. That might be, might be why he got confused. I brought okay. Manny Muskets to the bar, and I'm like, oh, he's a comedian. Lauren goes, oh, tell me a joke right now. And I'm like, that they hate that. Honestly, <laughs> if I was a comedian, I would love that because that would put me on the spot, and I'd be like, all right, let's go. I mean, he still did it because he's a pro. Right. <laughs> exactly. And that's how you know he's a real comedian. You know what's upsetting? He was my only black guest during black. Is that your friend anymore because of me? Is no. that what you're saying? No, 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 no. What's upsetting was that he was my only black guest during Black History Month, and that episode performed the weakest that month. Shame. Well, shame. shame on all shame. of you. Shame. Go watch the Soul Man review right now. We and have, <laughs> what, one more day for Black History Month? No, we're, no, no. This, this comes out months later. Uh, February is Black History Month. You have one more day. This and isn't com this isn't day. coming out tomorrow. This is coming out a while from oh when we shoot God. this. 2025? No, not that far. <laughs> Just it's not coming out with. Oh my god! All right, I'll shut the fuck up. You think I put? You think I have that quick of a turnaround? <laughs> I mean, Tony. With yeah, you're right. There's literally an episode that I shot like last month on the computer over there. It's Aww. like due in a few weeks. Like I don't edit that fast. Well, well, let's go. We need you to edit faster, Tony. Uh, okay. God damn. No, I'd have to stay <laughs> up all night editing this shit. Fuck you. Not like you don't already. Anyway, anyway, go back all and right. watch. Go back and watch Soul Man. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the doctors see the needle and they're like, okay, well, we're going to go The doctor. It. No, sorry. The cops. The cop. The cops see the needle and they're like, okay, we're getting a search warrant. You're up to something. But he's like, oh, 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. And the doctor in his head is like, that's when the drink will kick in. When right. really he should be like, I need to get all my things and get out of the country. There's no way I'm surviving this. He was still going to go through with the plan. It's like, but they went and got the search warrant. If they don't come back, people are going to come to your house. Either way, people are coming to his house. There's this, cars. It's, it's over. I mean, <laughs> I, know he's in, I know he's insane. I shouldn't be picking apart his plan. Right. But at some You're point, it's got to be like, dude, you really, it's over. Just run away. Run away. Right. So, yeah, uh, he goes downstairs. He can't find the centipede. He somehow got off the table. Uh, <laughs> Which I'm still to this day. <laughs> I guess they kind of just slid down. Wait, no. In, they walked up the steps. No, 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 no. Before they walk up the steps, Before, they right. got off the table and they hid in the other room. You're right. Uh, with so the, he, with he, a little surgical. Yeah, he comes in. They stab him with the scalpel and the Japanese guy like bites a chunk out of his neck. Yeah, took out his like. And what he should harder. have done was just keep stabbing him over and over and over but and you over. you think that that was a deep wound? Like, that was... I don't... You, that was a you, chunk. You do not take chances. You keep stabbing over True. and over and over and over again. True. That scalpel would, like... I would have stabbed him, like, ten times in the heart and then just left it in the heart. And, like, like, twisted like, it a little yeah, bit. Instead, yeah. he's like... Yeah, that's probably good enough. And I'm like, all right, let's all. They start counting. I know. It's like, well, uh, it was like backwards counting. It was like eight, five, four. So as they're going up the stairs, <laughs> like their like cheeks and stuff are like ripping. This is when it gets a little graphic. But I thought about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, like day one, I would have just been like, ah, like pulling the stitches out. No, and like, no. Why? No, because that would have ended your life. What is that? That was their lifeline. That was their lifeline. But it was just their mouth. Uh, 
I felt like at that point the nerves were connected because it formed. Uh, I guess because it healed. Well, yeah, because it healed. I don't long know. It's enough. still early. I mean, the day I woke up, that would have been. It was bleeding. It was yeah, bleeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, the day I woke up, that would have been. If I had arms that work, first thing I'm doing is just ripping the stitches yeah. out. Um, so they got to climb up the spiral staircase. And the spiral staircase creeped me out. Yeah, it's creepy. It was creepy. I don't know you're why. It was just a staircase, but like I felt it in my soul. But you know what? It uh, really shows you the power of teamwork. Right. If you run a company, you should show this scene when you're trying to show them team building exercises. <laughs> like we got to be a team. Like the centipede <laughs> at the end of Human Centipede. We're all in this together. Like the Japanese guy and those two girls were. When they Stop. Stop. <laughs> No. Hi, welcome to my seminar about teamwork. Shut up. End <laughs> it. This, this no is way. Team building. No fucking way. <laughs> Here's the scene from <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're gonna you're gonna compare that to team building? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, they had to work together through ops. Like they had the language barrier. They had the physical obstacle. It's a very important lesson. <laughs> okay. You know, a movie about being tied ass to mouth and shitting didn't need that big of a lesson in the film. I mean, I got the lesson. <laughs> Don't go to Germany. Okay. <laughs> that was the lesson. So yeah, uh, the doctor, surprise, wakes up and he's follow he also can't like walk now. Well he 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 did. Mm. When he was walking up the stairs, he mm. drank the blood. It was like almost like a vampire scene. Like, I yeah, know. this is where the vampire scene comes in. But was that butt blood or cheek blood? That's or period blood. <laughs> oh, the one girl just happened to be on her period at the same right. time. She was. Oh yeah, how are they peeing? I guess they're just How are they peeing? And also where I'm not gonna TMI. This is TMI. Because they're all bandaged, but like he's not like changing their diapers or something. I've yeah. never seen like a skit where he's <laughs> changed them. They're still in the same bandage yeah. that they came upstairs with. So they're just peeing into those bandages. You know, I'm starting to think this doctor is not a nice guy. Anyway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So he drinks butt blood or period blood. I don't know which one. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone's turned the episode off. We've talked I would a lot hope about so that. at this point. Uh, and then, of course, the lady. Uh, what's it, Lindsay. Directs the middle, him the middle one. Yes, directs him to go to the bedroom. It's like you don't think he's changed his. They were outside earlier. She would have known that he changed the window. She thought the window was still broken. But that's stupid because she was outside after it got replaced. Do you know how many dr how much drugs she was on? The girl got date raped. She had anesthesia. What do you expect, Tony? I would have also said the same. So thing. they go there, and now it's made of even stronger glass. <laughs> Uh, and the doctor comes in and now they're finally on the same level face to face. And the Japanese guy has a piece of glass. The doctor has a scalpel. And then the Japanese guy in that moment has an epiphany that he hasn't been a good person. He compared his life yeah. to what was happening in the present moment, which I found it was a little sad. It was sad. It was sad. Did you relate to him? Or? I didn't relate. <laughs> I just felt like life was more than that moment, but yeah. he didn't think so yeah. in that moment. He he just talks about being like a bad like son or something, yeah. and then he's just like, I deserve to die. <laughs> if I was the girl, I'd be like, do it later. Stop I, it. <laughs> she was slapping his ass, and she was going, and he wasn't picking it up, and he just... What and did he do, Tony? What was next? He fucking slits his throat. And I think even the doctor's a little like... That was the most graphic part yeah. of that movie, I think. Yeah. It was a throat cutting scene. And he was like he so... Was by the way, and that that didn't feel like a giving up moment. It's like, well, you could get out that window and you could take him on. But little did they know they had the cops coming back with a search warrant. And yeah. I was just waiting for them to be... So, like, okay, there's hope. So the cops do show up. Uh, Hyder hides in his pool room and waits for them. Right. The one cop, the drug finally kicks in. Right before it shouldn't have kicked in, but it kicked <laughs> yeah. in. I feel like it hit the girls really fast. Well, but yes. for him, it took a while. Yeah. I don't know. He's taller. I don't know. This might shock you, but I've never actually used those drugs. So I don't know how they work. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, he's able to uh, kill that cop uh, and take his gun. Uh, the other cop, I like that he he's like looking around. He hears the gunshot. He, he opens the room and sees the and centipede. Sees them, and he's like, oh, he made like, oh, yeah, he's one of those like, uh, that's one of those like, I'm going to come back to this. I got something else I got to do. Right. Just hang tight. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Honestly, if I saw that, I would have immediately like shot myself. <laughs> you're like, not gonna lie. you're like, this is never coming out of my brain. Right. Nope. <laughs> Just end it. <laughs> He runs in. He gets shot by the doctor. The uh, other cop that was yes. that actually drank the water. Well, no, that guy is already dead. Yeah. The second cop goes in the pool, sees his partner. The right. doctor starts shooting the second cop. The <laughs> fact that the cop yeah. shot the doctor right in the center of his head That's and he was staring him dead in the eye. Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, obviously it ends here, but they made that scene way longer than it needed to be. <laughs> Like, I was staring in the doctor's eye yeah. when he got shot right in the middle of the head. Yeah. I think that it was a good mm. ending to that movie. Yes. Uh, and to that character. And to that character. He comes back as a different person. Yeah. Because, like, the sequels are, like, meta, where it's, like, Human Centipede is a movie within the real world. And I don't know. I, I never even saw the third one when he came back. It's I was like a out. portal of... to the... To the <laughs> no, it's, it's like... like the asshole portal. I honestly think... That, well, the second one is, like, a guy who loved the first movie and wants to do it. And then I think the third movie is, like, two guys... They were guys... just trying to get a higher rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. Let's be real. But I think the third one is, like, it's two guys, <laughs> and it's the bad guys from the first two films as different people being like, well, we really like the second one. Let's do that. Yeah. So it's like this movie within a movie. Because I remember when they said they were making a sequel, I'm like, you can't do it without that guy. Honestly, he's, he's the, like best the best part. Um, but no, that's not the actual ending. The actual ending is we cut back to the centipede. Right. And poor poor Jenny bites it. She's dead. Well, okay. <laughs> we all knew she was going to die. Yes. The, the back of the centipede <laughs> was eventually going to die. Yes. We just didn't know when. Yeah. And she was so close to getting saved. It it was the worst time. Uh, it was the worst timing. And then it's literally just poor Lindsay. Lindsay, the between, girl that almost escaped. Between a rock and a hard place, if you will. Literally. <laughs> you put it the best way, Tony. A rock and a hard place. Thanks. Uh, it, <laughs> literally, it was a rock and a hard place. It's just, just sitting there like screaming but she can't really scream the poor girl could have ended in the pool but she chose to be the middle she's like Rah! she chose this life. and then the camera's just like okay it's like, ah! the camera's like everyone's dead and the camera pans up and then it just ends you're like oh that poor girl and the, honestly like i was like waiting for something to come back and her like have a different face well i assume if she, because someone's going, because they signed the search warrant. She yeah. be, probably got saved like that day. Obviously she got saved that day. But like, what kind of life is it? You have no teeth. You, you no can't teeth. use your, like you're deformed forever. At that point, I would have been like, I wish I died in the pool. Yes. Yes. Um, but it's funny that she was the one to live out of all of them. I really thought yeah. the Japanese guy would have made it first. Yeah. I don't think, she, I think the other girl comes back for the sequel. Really? Uh, I, well, well she I haven't seen it. Because so she plays herself. She plays the actress from the first movie. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no one else came back, and I guess she was like, yeah, you know, I'll do a second one. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun eating ass, I yeah. bet. Uh, but yes, Human Centipede. Did you, notice, did you notice I put the poop emoji on this? I, I didn't. <laughs> I Way to fucking put the cherry on the, the <laughs> ice, the icing. What is it? Cherry, cherry on the icing? <laughs> no, that we're fucking up the saying. What uh, is it? Cherry on top, uh, icing on the cake. Cherry on the. I think you. I think you combine two things. You know what? Tony, you know what? I think that was the best. That uh, was the magic touch to uh, everything a few, about this. A few months ago, I screwed up a saying on our live episode. I, I meant to say like reinventing the wheel, but I kept saying rewrite the wheel, and everyone. But isn't it rewrite the? No, it's reinvent the wheel, and everyone kept making fun of me on the like. Every time we talked about a new movie, they they would figure out a way to say rewrite the wheel to make fun of me. And I'm like fuck all of you. I'm fuck sorry. you guys. Honestly, that's oh. where the Mandela effect comes in. Like, <laughs> um. So yes. That's the human centipede. I still think it holds up. You said it was worse the second time. I it still was have, worse the second time. I still have fun with this one, though. This is still a fun movie. I'm still waiting for the moment that Tony 
agreed to make this a Halloween costume back in 2011, and we are still waiting <laughs> for this to come into fruition. You want you want to hang on the back of my ass? I am the beginning of the human centipede. Oh, you're the oh. So I, I gotta hang on the it. back of your ass. What the fuck? You are the last. You're dying. <laughs> What's in between? We just gonna get a blow up doll? Yes, that was the whole point. <laughs> I do have a blow up doll actually. <laughs> on next episode. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gift. I haven't even taken out. Should we like? Tr- should we um like try to recreate? <laughs> Tony actually no. Tony, do you remember making an actual shirt of the human? I Centipede? didn't make the shirt. That was a shirt a friend of mine made. Okay, well you gave it to me. I don't know why you gave it to me. Yeah, and I decided to wear it in public. Yeah, and someone asked me about it, and they're like, "Is that a hot dog?" <laughs> And I said, I forgot are you fucking I bu- blind? I, I forgot I bought you that shirt. I fucking, no. Why did, okay, why did I wear it in public? I wore also, that shirt in public a lot. More than I should have. <laughs> it looks like a hot dog. It looks like a hot dog. I guess at a glance, but like, oh, there's a three people eating a hot dog. Like, no, no. It's not yeah, a hot dog dog. A friend of mine, it was the Human Centipede logo, but it said BFFs. Yes. <laughs> like, that, was a, fuck that was a nice friendly shirt I gave you. What the fuck, Lauren? Friendly? Yeah. I got questioned on it. <laughs> Why'd you wear it And I was 18 years old, and I'm wearing this fucking human centipede shirt. Wait, no. That shirt was... I, I was 18 no, years old. I didn't get that shirt till 2013. How old were you in 2013? Do the math. I don't know. I was 18 years old. Oh, never mind. Wait, <laughs> how old were you in, when we were in college then? I mean, I was also, what, six years, maybe five years younger, I would say. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. Are you not in your 30s yet? I am in my 30s. Oh, wait, no. Then... 30, I'm 32. I don't feel like, I feel like the math is. I'm the only... math might be off. I'm 30. But... Well, I didn't graduate because I was bad at math. Okay, so, you so know. <laughs> so I'm only 34. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so maybe I'm off then. I think you're a little off. <laughs> um, I only remember that shirt because that was the first time Mummy Cop had a table at Monster Mania. Me and the guy split the table. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, that was a fun Monster Mania. We will be at future Monster... Well, maybe not you, but we will be at future Monster Manias. Uh, I didn't book any tables yet, but I'm going to go to one of those. If it's in Oaks, I'm probably going to get a table for all future Monster Manias in Oaks. I love this movie. It's still a good time. I think... Depending on how good this episode does. I think we does, should still do this as a Halloween costume. Anyway. We should... Okay, we'll do it as a Halloween costume, but I think, depending on how well the episode does... Okay. Maybe we should come back and watch this. If you would like to see Tony as Human Centipede, please like and comment on this video. <laughs> I love how you're super into this happening. <laughs> We're going to get so many fucking likes, Tony. <sighs> you know, every comment's going to be like, hey, you know, the girls were topless in that movie. Are you going to do that part of the costume? <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. You Oh, did you forget that detail? <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll do with this. If, if this may, if I get if I get three thousand followers, I'll go topless. Also, I need a boob job, so that me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, All right I, I was, think we killed it. I think we did a great job. Cheers! Well, cheers, Lauren. Lauren was nervous before this. Episode. I was. I almost shit myself earlier. And he didn't even have someone's mouth to do it into. <laughs> I was waiting for it. That's why I kept it in there. I was about to let loose, and uh, I thought we were going to recreate this, reenact it. I should say. I thought I was going to be the center, but I'm glad I'm never tonight. There. You thought that was you thought that? Yes. Was, I would have. I think I would have given you a heads up. It's like, oh, hey, Lauren, come and talk about this movie. We'll do ass to mouth. Uh. I was waiting to die tonight. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? <laughs> anyway, Lauren, where can we find you? You don't you don't want to find me anywhere. I am not on social media. Yes, you are. <laughs> my handle is Love Soda. My t- my ex is Soda John. Oh yes, Twitter X. I'm on Tony's X. Sing karaoke. <laughs> yeah, occasionally. Next people... karaoke Sunday is next week. What is it? Three, four. Again, these are co- this is coming out way later. <laughs> Sorry. Um. 525, <laughs> the next karaoke session will be. So, yeah, I guess look out for that. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what you think of Human Centipede. That was a fun one to revisit. I think we should do Human Centipede 2. Yes. If this does well, let's do Human Centipede 2. Yeah. 
We'll I'll see go, where this goes. I'll go in with an open mind. Then we'll finally watch Human Centipede 3. Like I said, I tapped out. <laughs> at after that point, two. we should just end it. Well, that's it. He ended it at three. Final sequence, which he called it. Uh, and uh, Tom Six is on to doing different movies now, I guess. And poor Dieter Laser, he's up in heaven. We miss you, Dieter. Dieter. This Dieter. One's for Dieter. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Thank you.